Hello dear students, welcome you to Transmission and Distribution class. So in the previous class, we have seen the different types of insulator. Today, we will see how potential distribution over a suspension insulator stream. As we seen in the previous class, suspension insulators are used in a string wise, means number of discs are used togetherly depending upon the voltage level. If a 11 kV disc is there of its capacity, if we are having 33 kV, then we are using a string of 3 disc cascading. So, you can see in the figure 8.10, 3 figures are there. From the first figure, 3 discs are suspended. So, it is a 3 disc string is make one uh, insulator here. So, where that from the tower, it is connected. You can see conductor is at the lowest, lowest end, means that the lowest insulator is carrying conductor. You can see in the figure, it is very clearly where conductor is written. You can just see the first figure. Okay. So total voltage across the conductor is uh, across the three insulators is V. So each disc of same time, so each disc will carries the same voltage. Means it, uh, the voltage is distributed on the three discs are same. So V1, V2, V3. Uh, because the um, uh, we are knowing all the discs of, of same size, same uh, degree of uh, dielectric strength, everything. So V1, V2, V3 is the voltage across the three first three insulators. So if you consider the capacitance of the each disc is C because all the three discs are same, so we are taking it as C. It is called a self capacitance or mutual capacitance. So the voltage uh, across the three discs we can make it by V by 3, V by 3, V by 3. And a current I is flows from uh, conductor to the tower. But the problem is what? In actual practice, capacitance also exists between the metal fitting of the each uh, of the disc with the tower of the arc. So, this is called as shunt capacitance C1. You can see it in the figure 3. Due to this uh, current I1, I2, I3, small I1, small I2, I3 which flows, this C1 is called as mutual capacitance. So, actual practice V1, V2, V3 will not be having same values. So, the with the voltage the of the con insulator which is near to the conductor has got more voltage than the conduct than the insulators which are there in the other side means the lowest insulator v3 is the lowest insulator which is near to the conductor has got the more voltage and it is gone decreasing when the conductor goes near to the uh, insulator goes near to the uh, tower so the following points are noted uh, regarding the potential distribution over a string of suspension insulators the first point is the voltage impressed on a string of suspension insulator does not distribute itself uniformly across the individual disc due to the presence of shunt capacitance. Whatever we have seen the just now C1, because of C1, the voltage distribution across the all the capacitor will not be same, means all the uh, discs will not be same. The disc nearest to the conductor has a maximum voltage across it. As we move towards the cross arm, the voltage across the disc go on decreasing as we see now. The voltage of the insulator which is very near to the conductor is very high and whenever we are going, uh, towards, going towards the cross arms, the voltage go on decreasing. The unit nearest uh, to the conductor is under mechanic maximum electrical stress uh, and likely to be punctured. Therefore, um, and the means must be provided to equalize the potential across each unit. Okay, means the chances of getting puncture at the nearest insulator to the conductor is more because which has got more electrical uh, stresses so we need to provide a um, equalize the potential across the each unit that is their equalizer using that we will see in the next uh, classes okay if the voltage impressed on the string were dc then voltage across the each unit would be same because the shunt capacitance uh, or an ineffective or a capacitance is ineffective for the DC system. So only thing is what this shunt capacitance are and the capacit voltage distribution are changes because of the AC power. So let us see what is string efficiency. The ratio of the voltage across the whole string to the product of number of disc and the voltage across the disc near to the conductor is known as the string efficiency. So the string efficiency is given by the ratio of voltage across the string, total voltage across the string divided by number of the disc in the string into voltage across the nearest string. According to this, if it, uh, this first figure, I can tell that string efficiency is given by V divided by 
n into v3 because v3 is the voltage for the nearest to disk and v is the total voltage of the string so let us see the string efficiency mathematical expression you can see here this is a figure of 8.11 which is you are seen in the 8.10 the third figure you can see just three capacitors are taken here because three disk the conductor is at the lowest point and um, three uh, capacitors of three disc c c c and uh, capacitance of c1 c1 where the line which is showing with the uh, h that is your uh, cross arm uh, or earth whatever you can assume uh, okay total voltage across three strings is v v1 v2 v3 are the voltage across the con disc 1 2 and 3 fine uh, so uh, current i3 moves in the third um, insulator current capital I2 moves in the second insulator, current uh, capital I1 moves in the first capacitor. At the same time, small i3, small i2, small i1 are shunt currents moves in the shunt capacitors, respectively 3, 2 and 1 insulators. So, we will see how to see. Uh, so, before that, we will see that each capacitance has got value C and the shunt capacitance has value of C1 which can be taken as Kc, where K is the fraction. Uh, so, uh, C1 is also a fraction of uh, the total capacitance C. Starting from the cross arm of the tower, we will see from the first end. Uh, at the point A, I will give it as uh, by applying Kirchhoff's current law, KCL at point A, you can see capital I2 is equal to I1 plus small i1. Is it? You can see it is very clearly. At point A, capital I2 is equal to capital I1 plus small i1. Or I can write I2 as V2 omega C, omega is 1 by 2 phi, uh, sorry, omega is 2 phi F because we know that Xc is nothing but um, here 1 by 2 phi Fc. So here current is there, that's what uh, V2 by Xc, uh, Xc is coming to the denominator, 1 by 2 uh, 2 phi Fc is the uh, Xc here, so that omega C is coming to the numerator here. Same thing to V1 omega C and V1 omega C1. By replacing C1 with K, I will get V2 is equal to V1 into 1 plus K. I will take it as 1. Same Kirchhoff's uh, current law or KCL is applied to the node B. I will get I3 is equal to I2 plus I, small I2. You can see what is I3? V3 omega C. What is I2? V2 omega C. Small I2 is what? V1 plus V2 into omega C1. By solving this one, I will get V3 is equal to V1 into 1 plus 3K plus K square. At the same if I go for what total V, V is equal to what V1 plus V2 plus V3. By putting the V2 and V3 values in terms of V1, I will get the total V is equal to V1 into 3 plus 4K plus K square, where V is equal to V into 1 plus K into 3 plus K. So, by putting all these expressions, I can get voltage across the top unit V1 is equal to V by 1 plus K into 3 plus K, V2 is equal to v1 into 1 plus k and v3 is equal to v1 into 1 plus 3k plus k square so the string efficiency is given by v by 3 into v3 as we seen the voltage across the string divided by number of uh, strings uh, disk into voltage near to the nearest disk the following points may be noted for the mathematical analysis is if k is 0.2 if k is 0.2 the expression um, we will get V2 as 1.2 V1 and V3 as 1.64 V1. This is clearly shows that the disc near to the conductor has the maximum voltage across it and the voltage across the other disc are decreasing progressively. You can see V1 is the voltage at the first uh, means that the near to the cross arm which is 1 means uh, V2 is 1.2 is it and V3 is 1.64 means V3 is highest. So the greater the value of K is the more, more non-uniform is the potential across the disc car, uh, and lesser is the string efficiency means the uh, value of k is more means and, and it is not uniform then the f string efficiency is going to decrease and then inequality in the voltage distribution increases with the increase the number of disc in the string therefore shorter string has more efficiency than the larger uh, string means if you are having more number of strings then uh, unequal of uh, voltage uh, distribution the string efficiency is uh, decreased but if it is shorter string the string efficiency is good so in the next classes we will see some problems and also how to improve the 
स्ट्रिंग एफिशिएंसी थैंक यू